What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here. We got ourselves a nice little problem here. If f of x equals x plus 3 and g of x equals x minus 1 times x plus 2, graph h of x if h of x is the product of those two. Well, first off, how about we write out h of x is then equal to x plus 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. Boom. Not too bad, right? I just had myself a one, two, three cubic polynomial in factored form. The easiest way to graph polynomials is in factored form because what do I get? My x intercepts. I get negative three comma zero, one zero, and negative two zero. Now this is a positive cubic function. There's no negative x's or anything like that. So it's gonna be this kind of a shape right here. So I'm just gonna, boom. There's my cubic. Now we also usually ask for our y-intercept. What would that be? Well, it'd be zero comma something because my x values are gonna be zero on the y-axis. So if I plug in zero, I get three times negative one is negative three, times two is negative six. I get zero, negative six for my y-intercept. I've got my x-intercepts. It's a positive cubic. That is awesome sauce.